Good morning, everybody. Oh, what is? <laughs> Wipe your eyes because I might look blurry. I don't know what's going on. Let's get this straight up on hill. Okay, now you're awake. Now you're awake and you can see correctly. So how's everybody doing? Hey, Candy, how are you? Hello, Martin. Good to see you. <laughs> Hello, Bethany. Latunia, good to see you. Guys, we are here for you every day, Monday through Friday, 9.30 a.m. Morning, Muzette. Good to see you. Um, I'm glad you're here, Muzi. Um, but yeah, we are here. We are here. We are here every day. And when I say we, yeah, that's all right. I have a surprise. We have Olivia joining us today. Hi. How good are you? I'm good. How are you? I'm good. You you know you have to sing on my lives, right? I have to what? Sing. I do. Yeah. Oh, I didn't practice. I'm a little. <laughs> no 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 no. <laughs> <laughs> so um yeah, we're gonna bring Olivia on today and have some fun. So we are going to we do this wake up and make up every single morning for you guys. Uh, I'm happy to see you. Um and. This is a way, an opportunity. If you're new to Luminous, if you're interested in Luminous, if you've never heard of Luminous, <laughs> this is a way for you to ask questions, see it in real life, and um, and kind of go from there. Because I know that a lot of you watch the infomercials and all of that, and they're like, is that real? And we're here to show you it's real. Because we're going, Olivia's going to do, uh, do the makeup along with me. So you'll see us together doing it like, I don't know. I was going to say something funny, but I don't know what there is. <laughs> like something. I don't know. Hey, Kathy. Good to see you. Delbert. Hello. Hello. How are you? Uh, my husband's basically going to send the guys where any hurry up and ready to go to I need to know order of women. I say so. Uh, hey, I'm on my husband's Facebook and I said, and what, 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 what'd you say? Um, I need to hurry up and get ready to go to work, but I need to know the order of living. <laughs> okay, so we're going to go over that, um, the steps. And so let me show you real quick one of our starter kits right here. This is the legend. And it comes with the makeup. It comes with the two large bottles of foundation, a love and a blush. And we give you the two large bottles. Why? Because we want you to practice. Guys, this is a new way of doing makeup. You're not going to be an expert the very first time you do it. And so we're going to give you the products that you need to practice. And then we give you love and blush. Now the blush is super high pigmented. It is going to bloom. And so it will uh, come up a little bit afterwards. And then love is a hydrating illuminator. So it's going to give you that nice, youthful glow, um, but not necessarily a shimmer, not necessarily a boo. It's just going to be like, oh, you look so young and youthful, Heather. Why, thank you. It's all about love. <laughs> and then right here, which is going to be across my face. I'm going to do it right here. Hello. Hello. Um, we want you to keep that stylus moving. So when you're, if you're using this one, keep that style. And uh, Olivia, can you show them on, do you have the breeze? Yes. Show them when you turn it on, you're going to boop, 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 move that around your face. Ba, 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 ba. And just feel that air. Then also make sure you're holding it four finger widths away. Then you want to put water in here. You can put water in the breeze and then barely pull back on that trigger. You want very little makeup to come out. Okay. A lot of times I'll get questions like, oh, uh, or I'll, I, I got the wrong color. I got the wrong color. I'm like, okay, great. How long have you been airbrushing? And they're like, oh, I just started. I'm like, chances are you didn't get the wrong color. You're just putting it on like traditional makeup. And that's nine times out of 10, that's what people are doing. And so just know that, all right? It's okay. All right, so let's get started. Um, let's see, let's see. Um, 
Yay, Christina got the magnetic lashes. Uh, when do you do live video with me? <laughs> we'll have to check into that, Martin. Angela, how are you? Good morning. Oh, you didn't get, oh, it'll come tomorrow. It'll come today. Um, go to the website. There's an airbrush menu. Please select system options for the airbrush kits. Did somebody ask about it? I feel like I missed something, but that's okay. I miss a yeah, lot of things. I don't see that. Hmm. But that is the site that uh, you can go to luminouscosmetics.com. Check out the site for sure. So we're going to talk a little bit about contouring today. Now, some of you might be like, shut off. Don't need contouring. But let's talk about that. When you're, when I say contouring, it, oh, James asked how to order. Thank you. Y'all have our backs. Thank you so much. Um, yes, you can go to luminouscosmetics.com. Um, but when, when you put on concealer or foundation, what that's like, I put my concealer here to help with my bags. Um, also the darkness on my lids. And then the foundation is going to even you out. And so what contouring is going to do is giving your face some shape and we can kind of make things disappear, but it's, it's going to bring some shape back to your face. So you ready to get started, Olivia? Yes. What should we put on first? Foundation. Okay. <laughs> I'm up for it. So well, first I'm going to put do? Velvet Veil on, actually. Oh, you're going to do Velvet Veil? Yeah. I think I'm out of Velvet Veil. Oh, and wait. Primer. Now, why do you like Velvet Veil? I know why I like it. Um, I just think that it hides a lot of fine lines and just makes the airbrush go on so smoothly. And you can definitely see a difference when you use it and when you don't. It's definitely one of my favorite primers. Why do you like it? I like it because I'm very self-conscious of my under eye wrinkles and crinkles. And so I'll put it there a lot of times. Um, my, I'm like empty. I'm gonna throw this one away. I'm like, I can't. It's like squeezing a raisin. <laughs> um, it hides wrinkles and crinkles. Actually, I'm gonna have to take this off because it was the the barrel, the bottom of the barrel. I'm wondering if I have another one. So what I'm gonna do? Because I'm very sad I had to take this off. <laughs> my redness because i am self-conscious uh note to self i need to put that on my list of products i need i am going to do some lotion because i just wiped that off and i want to plump up those under eye so we get wrinkles and crinkles when um you, when you get wrinkles and crinkles, it's because, well, could be because your age, but it's where <laughs> your face forgets to pump blood and, and, and pump up the face. And so your face is getting depleted. And so moisturizing is super important. Um, you know, when you wash your face at night, make sure you're sleeping in a good moisturizer. Um, the porcelain that we have, you can airbrush this on. Uh-oh, I have to... Okay. Um, so I'm going to go in real quick. I know we're, and I just added porcelain, even though I have a little bit of this, I'm just going the contour serum. I'm going to put this on real quick. So I'm not depleted in my moisture. All right. Um, Bethany asked if what liquid mirage was yes okay. the liquid foundation and you can buy a lightener and a darkener to change the shade a little bit to make sure it matches your skin tone yeah just it's it is airbrush makeup in a bottle you know how you can mix our airbrush makeups it's same concept um 
you have the lighteners and the darkeners to whenever your face changes, you can adjust that as well. All right. All right, which one are you using? What's finish? I am using silk foundation. Silk foundation. Oh, wait, is that a five or a two? I think I was looking at my videos and I was like, I think I need to go lighter. I don't think I'm as dark as I think I am. <laughs> Good morning, Patty. Yeah, we finally made a, um, a non airbrush system and Guys, if you think about it, I mean, we know that there's going to be people out there that don't airbrush. We know that, right? And who do you want to make a traditional foundation? An airbrush company. Because that way we're comparing it. You know, airbrushing is like the top level. And so we're comparing everything to our airbrush. And so it makes, um, it, it really is a good foundation. All right. So I have my, I went to a shade two in silk. And I'm going to spray under my eyes. Remember to go back and forth. You're not, um, you know, you don't have to race. The moves are very deliberate. Bethany said, time to use the tuning system again. Exactly. Yes. It's that time of year. Yep. Veronica, how are you? probably should have put like maybe a shade three. Now I will tell you, this is another way, awesome way that airbrushing is amazing. So the two to me looks a little light, not by much, just a little bit. But if I needed to, I could go, stop right now, add a couple of drops of my shade three and keep going. Okay. But I also know that I'm going to contour. And so that's going to give me some warmth. Um, Christina, you're so funny. Did you see what she said? She goes, wow, you look too much younger. It's amazing. It really is. I use it every day. I love it. Love it. All right. So I'm do a little bit more on my cheeks to get that covered in. What are you using next, Olivia? I'm just putting a little bit of a setting powder on. Are just you oily or dry? I'm oily and just in certain parts of my face, like my chin gets a little oily and right above my eyebrow. Mm -hmm. So I like to just like powder it a little bit after I put the airbrush on. Um, try put powdering before you airbrush. Okay. It makes, it makes a flawless look by the way. Um, so you, Bethany, are you talking about the, uh, the liquid mirage? Oh, no. Oh, Melissa. Yeah, Mel <laughs> Melissa just bought the icon. The icon is amazing. Um, and I have one somewhere. I actually have a legend right here. The icon is amazing. This is, why don't you tell them about the Breeze, Olivia? The Breeze is our newest system, and it is so easy to use, as you could see from our routine so far. Um, you put the foundation right on top up here, and this is the trigger and the power button and you're good to go. It's perfect for traveling. It's so easy to use. I love this machine. It is, it's cordless and chargeable. And you really do need to remember where you put the charger because the, it lasts for so long. It lasts for so long. Um, it does. Bethany, you do make, you can mix the foundations, but you always don't have to. A lot of times when I'm tanning, if I think I'm darker than I am, um, I can go, I can go on top of this with a darker foundation and it works. So if you know your mix and you know exactly what to do, then mix those together and get it perfect that first application. If you're putting it on and you're like, oh, wait, I'm too light or too dark, you can go right on top of that. You don't have to start over. All right, let's go straight into contouring. And so I actually have the cut one and the cut two. I have and the cut one. Here is 
cut one. Cut and that's the one, Olivia. Hold yours up, Olivia, and then I'm gonna hold up the two. Here is Veltu. So you can tell it's obviously different for different skin tones, right? But they all, like, you see the shimmer in this one here? That has a shimmer. And so does, a little thing's gonna fall out. This one, the shimmer's down there. So I'm going to use the cut two just to be different than what Olivia's doing. Okay. I think I need some sparkle in my day today. So I'm going to use the vanilla bean, the sparkly one that Heather just showed. Mm. Now what contouring is going to, this, these cut one palettes can be so much for you. Um, hmm. The cut one looks more green. What? Like warm for like warmer under. Warm, yeah. So I'm, so when we do a, the shoop, your foundation, it evens you out. It does what we call makes you flat. And so what contouring and highlighting are going to do is create some shape back into your face. And so I can create some jaw bones. I'm gonna have to move this little guy over. Covering to How does the cord break? I'm confused. Your cord broke, Bethany? Um, the power cord broke. Is that what you're talking about? Cause I'm so confused right now. Um, we have the hose, we have the, this thing right here. It, this is rubber. So if it gets into a, if it has a fight with a curling iron, it's going to pop a hole in there, but you can always buy a new hose. I recommend the one for tanning cause you can cut it any length that you want. If your power cord broke, I'm confused how that broke uh, from the base. Uh, are you wrapping it? Cause I'm confused. Um, but yeah, check out the, um, that's amazing. Uh, yes, Christina, contouring adds skin. Yes, and I can get rid of that right there. So even though I felt like the, the shade two was a little light for me, hey, it's okay because now I'm adding more warmth more dimension to my face now i'm taking a blending brush and i'm going to go in with um espresso and i'm going to contour my eyes right like that morning wendy So I'm just go going right into that crease and adding a little dimension to my eyes. Right like that. Now I'm going to take the flat white, which is in the cut one and brush it underneath my eyes just to give my eyes a little more lift. And then using the vanilla bean, I can go in and do a little shimmer right there. This is this is similar to what love would do because it's not too, too shimmery. It's just a little bit of funness. And it doesn't have to be a lot, guys. You might look and say, well, I don't, I don't know if I can do, you can, you can go as light, as dark as you want. It doesn't matter. Okay. So if I'm looking in the mirror and I'm like, okay, maybe I got it too much. You can even airbrush over it. That is how amazing airbrush makeup is because it's not covering your entire face with makeup. 
it will blend just like we put the blush on first before the foundation it will blend all of that together so i'm going to do a little bit underneath my eyes as well as eyeliner and we're still using the cut palette i'm switching back and forth between cut one and cut two olivia using the cut one yes. Oh, Melissa, you're so sweet. Light and makeup mirror. Oh, that's so much. Oh, Lord, you have gloomy days. You know, I bought mine at, I think, Bed Bath & Beyond, like, one million years ago. And it still works. I just got oh, one of too. too. Huh? I just got one at Costco. If you need oh, one. you did? You, you got really. one. <laughs> I like the ones that have the magnification on one side and then the regular on the other. Me too. The only thing I wish at home, I wish I had like a bathroom counter where I could sit and have all my makeup versus stand. Probably because I'm used to it here. All right, I'm gonna brush through, maybe add a little bit of the light there. Yeah. So I'm taking the cut. Well, let me see if I can do the cut two. Yeah, let me do I'm gonna do the cut two, the um frappe. Isn't that color beautiful? Look at that. That is really pretty. And I'm gonna put this right here on my eyeball. Oh, ooh la la, look at that. What are you doing, Olivia? I'm doing eyeshadow with the Optic palette. Oh, what colors? So far, I've only done Afterglow. Okay. Yes. But it's crazy that you're able to do pretty much your whole face with that one palette. The one oh, yeah. It's awesome. Okay, I'm obsessed with this color right now. Look at that. So pretty. Love it. I'm like, now let's... It it's kind of like two girls just doing some makeup, hanging out. <laughs> I think I'm going to go in a little darker. Let's grab, I'm going to grab the nude palette with um, the darkest brown in there and just pop up that end, pop up my corners. Ah, Maria just bought a stool for her bathroom. So she can sit. I feel like sitting lets you concentrate on the makeup more. I don't know. Maybe I'm being silly. Or maybe it's because I'm used to sitting here and doing my makeup. And this is the majority of where I do my makeup. <laughs> <laughs> I agree, though. I'd prefer to sit. Because you're more relaxed. You're not worried about standing. You're just focused on. You're comfortable that way. Yeah. I want to know if there's research on that. Let's look into that. Okay. Okay. We'll see everybody tomorrow. <laughs> oh, maybe. Oh, you know what we should do is do a um a um what's the thing called? <laughs> like on our social, do a um do you stand or sit? Okay. Doing your makeup. A poll. We'll do a poll. Yeah, thank you, a poll. I couldn't remember that. You know that thing you dance around. <laughs> <laughs> oh Lord. All right, so now I'm going to go back to espresso and blend because I want to see more brown. Maria says it's way more comfortable. See, everybody has a place to sit. <laughs> I think we are know there, the answer to are the there any, Are there any standers? <laughs> Stand, is that, I know that's not the right word, but standees versus cities? Speak now. We must know. I'm a stander at home. I'm a sitter here. Actually, no, I'm not because I had to move all my makeup to my desk. So I do sit because when I do my lives at home. There you go. So I am a sitter. A true sitter. Melissa stands. I had a friend that used to sit on her counter, like just climb right on and go for it i'm going to use a little bit of persuasion eyeliner 
And I'm just going to, I'm going to uh, use this one. Bethany sometimes sit. Oh, she, girl, when are we not in a rush? Bethany says, I stand in a rush. I'm just dragging that persuasion eyeliner. Rot bar. See what a different, I mean, like I would be good with that, put mascara on, but then see how that just really finishes huh. the look. I just love that. Ooh, I need a fixy fix. All right. Now I'm going to do this side. Like so. And with me, I like a very defined line up top. I sometimes do line with um, just eyeliner, but the bottom for me and I think like younger kids can do a harsher line, but like, I like a softer line at the bottom. That's why I use eyeshadows all the time. It's just the look I prefer. I'm going to go curl my lashes. I'm going to add mascara. He's like, when I was in my 20s, I sat on the counter. <laughs> Melissa said, the only seat in my bathroom is my toilet. <laughs> oh, Melissa, you should get a roll-up vanity. Just sit on your toilet <laughs> and have a roll-up vanity. That would work. There's nothing wrong with that. Got to do what you got to do. Yeah. That's What do they say in, um, in designing on, like, home designing? It's form beats. Or I don't know. Function, function beats form. So you design a house that makes it livable for you, right? Like you wouldn't decorate a house in all white if you had four kids. You got to work with what you got. All right, adding a little bit of mascara. Oh, I do, I look like I have eyeliner on. Before I edit it. Good morning, Lumines. Lumines has joined us today. All right. So I did pretty much everything with the Cut One palette. Contour, highlighted, did my eyes. I just added a little bit of the dark at the end. Um, oh, she has no. Well, if you have a huge bathroom, do a uh, vanity right in the middle. <laughs> there you go. Um, what am I going to do for lips? I think I'm going to do vinyl. I always do vinyls. I love vinyls. Me too. Love them. I'm going to do pouting peony. I have a little bit of gloss on, so I'm going to take that. Bethany, you're so sweet. All right. Yeah, because this sticks with the kind of the theme I have working here. Oh, yay, Maria ordered the cut one. Come on, Olivia Singh. <laughs> cut one. I can't, I'm nervous. She's like, I thought she was gonna pretend she can't hear me. Heather, you're cutting out, I can't hear you over here. It, 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 break it up. All right. Oh, yeah. She was doing eyeliner. They couldn't see you when you were off camera. Oh, sorry. Yes, yeah, so I was adding some top eyeliner and mascara. 
And now I'm going to use the vinyl slick in ballet pink. Ballet pink. Is that what you're not somewhere? You're Who's my, what's my favorite, guys? But I like this because it come back to camera. Come back to camera. There you go. <laughs> um, I have the liquid lipsticks on in the um pouting peony. I really like that one too. All this, all of it is so so high pigment. Now she's doing the vinyl slick liquid lipsticks. Um, and it'll show you like our skin tone is different, and that looks good on oh, everybody. Uh, that one and merengue, I think, are probably my favorite. Uh, <laughs> Maria's like, you two are ready to party. Let's go have some drinks at the park in the morning. Merengue uh, is my fave. Which one? Merengue. So I'm switching it up today. See, merengue looks really good on her. With me, I have to add it with the dusty rose. Sometimes it's too light on me. Um, but yeah. Oh, girl, Lumines said spark and jelly. We know who likes spark and jelly. Uh, <laughs> Lumines girl that's incognito. Um, she loves adding, Renee loves adding the um, spark lip liner all over and then the lip jelly, which I did yesterday um, in honor of you. Um, and so the lip jelly is great because it is a plumper. It is going to nourish the lips. Uh, you know, being that we're in cold, maybe cold weather, we live in Texas, so we don't know what's going to be the next day. Um, and that helps your lips stay moisturized and plump. It has that little bit of a tingle. You'll forget about it in like the third day you use it. Uh, but it's great to use as a, you know, as a daily lip treatment slash lips gloss. I mean, I guess you can call it a lip gloss. So there you go. I need some primer. Christina, I didn't use blush, but I used bronzer and highlighter. Oh yeah. <laughs> Bethany's like, I wanted the full vinyl lip, uh, vinyl set, but my hubby said no. Melissa says she needs that. Yes, um, Melissa. Olivia is actually 68 years old and she <laughs> uses our, uh, <laughs> she's not, but yes, our, the velvet veil is amazing. It does. It's going to help blur those wrinkles and crinkles. It even helps with redness. If you're oily, um, it'll even help keep you matte. And so you can use it in certain areas or put it all over your face. My mom wants it in 55 gallon drums. So, um, you know, it's, it's, amazing which i need to order some more um but yeah well olivia thank you so much for joining me today i really appreciate you coming on thank you for having me maybe tomorrow i'll sing okay. i'll practice yes so <laughs> <laughs> one time it was a while back i did a theme and i would sing would i sing us i sang a song from each like icon, like Cher, Madonna, and whoever said it first was going to win a prize. It was fun. <laughs> that is fun. <laughs> All right, guys. Well, we will see you. Hopefully, Olivia will be here with me tomorrow. But we will see you tomorrow. Thank you so much for joining me. And we'll see you soon, guys. Bye for now.